organization and decomposition in product design so product design it is not a easy process so it is a complex process that involves various activities with series of steps and people involved in it so lot of people are involved here in the product design process and many steps are involved so there is a need to structure or organize various activities in order to streamline the process and also break or decompose complex activities into simple executable sub tasks that can be handled more easily so many activities will be there and many people are involved so what we do is it will be broken into simple steps the sub tasks and the activities are streamlined in a proper order so the present section deals with organizing and decomposition in product design so here we will learn how organization is done and the process are broken into the sub sub tasks first one is organizing product design now product design begins with defining the functional requirements which satisfy a given set of needs so how the product design begin at initial stage we have to tell what type of the function the product has to do and it has to satisfy the given set of needs and ends up with the creation of the physical object satisfying these objects and where the product design ends you have to create that object where the functions or the demands are been given earlier the process involves various activities and iteration of activities to satisfy the needs and expectations of the desired product so in view of the complexity in the design process there is a need for structuring or organizing the activities and orienting the decision making during the design process the sequence of activities is conceived in such a way that product design process proceeds from the abstract to the concrete in this way it is possible to initially operate in a solution space as fast as possible and subsequently make the process streamline and converge towards a concrete achievable solution so let us see in this diagram ideas and requirements come first so there will be a particular idea and what requirement why the product has to be manufactured next they will generate one concept that is the concept generation so when you are generating the concept there will be number of concepts so each person may have many concepts in his mind and concept screening effective concept so within these concept a single or the two three concepts will be screened i mean all the concept will be screened by the way and maybe the best concepts will be chosen feasibility study so the study of the doers and doers will be done so product layout with sub systems and functional components so what all sub systems are there the overall product layout will be done preliminary design detail design so preliminary design a rough design of the product may be done and the detail design will be developed further design evaluation and improvements then whatever the design is done the evaluation of that design will be done and also improvement improved design then the errors will be found and finally the improved totally well design will be selected build prototype once the design is ready with all the dimensions etc etc the prototype of the same model will be done and final design finally a final design comes so this is organizing the product design this is a flow chart of organizing product design process secondly decomposition in product design what is decomposition so you have a product in the product you will be dividing the designs into the sub systems like you may have a assembly or a single part so each and every part of that assembly will be taken care of by a particular department okay 
so that is to break the design into number of parts or a different task or smaller sub problems which can be handled more easily and later recombine or integrate all the designs to make a final solution so example there is a bicycle so you will divide it into a frame seat wheels and brakes again in the wheels you will have rim spokes and tire so this is how you divide the bicycle into different sub parts so here dividing the design problem of a product into simpler sub problems is called decomposition in product design so here further even the smaller task may be divided again into small small parts like there is a whole assembly then there are parts and those parts may be again divided into sub sub products or the uh, different parts and they will be studied minutely so when you are making the assembly you might have seen even a small error can cause a clashes into the assembly right there might not be a fit so the fittings may be wrong or the clearance may be wrong so which will make the product not function in a proper way that the customer desired does not meet the standards so here what they will do is the components are divided into the smaller parts and the smaller parts again into the different parts and these parts will be worked effectively by those people who are concerned with and they will integrate the assembly into a final part i mean a final assembly will be integrated so this is how the decomposition in product design takes place so next is methodical evolution in product design so traditional product design and development process involves a well structured sequential step by step process so with each step required to be completed before subsequent steps could begin so for example production assembly and packing this department has to start functioning only after the design is complete the various issues concerned with these departments are not defined so they are not told actually and they are not addressed also so they are left for the related departments only to solve so many product design changes are initiated during these stages so during these stages like the assembly or the packaging okay so during these stages many product design changes are been updated so the increased complexity and challenges in designing products and production systems due to more changeable customer demands frequent product updates plan for life cycle design and the requirement for resource efficiency have revealed the inadequacy of the sequential structure of the design and development process it is in fact typically limited by two type of disadvantages so prolonged development times due to sequential nature of the different functions so what happens is the development time due to the different functions it may change so limited capacity for product increment improvement because of the poor communication between the various functions and the consequently reduced and fragmentary information flow so the rigid sequential structure in traditional product design is the supplemented by two new methodical context that is concurrent engineering simultaneous or integrated or life cycle engineering and design for x dfx